squeeze it from the bottom. What does it matter which end you use? Because it's neater. All this fuss over of tube of flaming toothpaste. What do you think, Sinead? What? I squeeze it from the middle. Well, that's better than the top. No, it's not. Well, I think it is. Are you avoiding me? What? Well, asleep on the sofa when I got in last night, out of bed early this morning. No. I won't blame you, not after how I ruined yesterday. No, he didn't. I stopped you from modelling so we could spend some time together and then went to work myself. It's no wonder you hit the bottle. Uh, was it that obvious? I could smell it on you. Oh. I was with Fizz. We got carried away. No, I don't mind. It's just not like you. Shows how act off you were with me, I guess. I'll make it up to you, though, yeah? I wonder how Mr Connor squeezes his toothpaste. I might ask him to settle it. You'd better not. Like I'd make fools of us both in front of the boss. Look at me, are you two? Oh, sorry, you dark horse Roy Cropper. We have told you at the earliest opportunity. Don't worry, Fizz, I only found out yesterday. <laughs> hey, I think it's fabulous news. Yeah, me too. Congratulations. Ooh. Have you fixed a date yet? Oh, give us a chance. <laughs> Is everything all right? Um, yeah, yeah. It's just Gary. He's reminding me about Izzy's um, hearing. It's today. Oh. Sorry to spoil the party. How is she pleading? Uh, not guilty, which means there'll be a trial. Mm. Poor girl. Here's us celebrating. Uh, which she'll go on doing. Enjoy it while it lasts. Mm. Roy's Rolls. Hello, Mother. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. What was that you were saying about enjoy it while it lasts? Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. It, it looks like the rinse tiles are going as well. Oh, Lord knows what state the battens are in. How come you're a roof expert all of a sudden? Oh, well, you have to gen up if you don't want these builders to diggle you. Me and Jason are still happy to help out if you change your mind, Norris. Yes, well, the, the building trade has enough rogue operators without hiring a suspected killer as well. Don't cut your nose off to spite your face, Norris. Well, at least it's a pitch roof and not flat. I mean, the last thing you want is trouble with bitumen. Any news? They can't touch you without hard evidence. Jace is right. It's like I gotta go and pick some stuff up. I'll see you later. Just uh, run me through again exactly what you told him. Not about you and me dad torching the car, if that's what you're worried about. Uh, no, it's not, actually. Sarah? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, your David's happy now. This has got nothing to do with me. He's your brother. Can you just keep me out of this, please? He must have told you why he did it. Do you know, you're not the only one. They're interviewing Gary as well, you know. I might go down for a murder I didn't do. Do you really want that in your conscience? Just, just talk to David. Just leave me alone, will you? It's not her who's the problem. You're not telling me she doesn't know anything. No, but it is... I, I'm fine for me life, dear right, Todd. Which is why you need to calm down. Calm down! Listen to me. Right, the cops are going to be watching your every move. If they find out, you've been going around threatening people. <sighs> Keep a low profile. Leave Sarah to me, OK? Yes, Mother. Don't worry, it's... Goodbye. <clears throat> what did she want? She claims to have had a bad turn. Claims. Wants me to go and look after her again. Oh, well, then you must. Well, you haven't been back five minutes since. What kind of a bad turn? Well, it's rather vague. Oh, she's swinging the lead. That's what she's doing. She wouldn't lie, surely. Uh, you've still got a lot to learn you about your future mother-in-law. She did mention in passing that she'd had a falling out with Auntie Jean. Oh, well, that's what it'll be, then. She wants you there to side with her. But if I don't go, and anything has happened... Exactly. Look. You'd never forgive yourself. Roy, you've got to go. Yes, I'm afraid I have. Oh, that's interesting. What? School reunion next week. Wonder who's going? The sound guy used to put around the bottom of the tube that helped me squeeze it out. That might help. Oh, if I hear another word about toothpaste. Yeah, put a sock in it, Kirky. Hey, do you remember that toothpaste what came in tins? Like shoe polish. My enamel's never been the same since. You brush your teeth with shoe polish. Dentifrice, it was called, Kirky. Now there's a word to conjure with. Um, sorry to bother you. Um, machine's lost power. Uh, probably a fuse. I'll get it sorted. 
Look, uh, I'm sorry about yesterday. But forget it. I have. I, I just... I, I don't know what came over me. Uh, Sinead, we've all done it. How are things with you and Chess? Yes, yeah. We're all right now, thanks. Well, then that's all that matters. I hang on to him, he's a good bloke. Um, I'd best get back anyway. Yeah, then don't worry. What was that about? Oh, uh, the machine's on the blink. And? Huh? Well, it seemed like more than that to me. Oh, come on. Guys, it's not just about the slides. There's the valleys to think of as well. The valleys? Oh, well, the, the channels that take the water away. Now, you see, you can have lead valleys, zinc valleys, and if you want to, you can go down the road of the glass-reinforced plastic. But that's another minefield altogether. So... Which I wouldn't recommend. I'm sorry? Oh, apologies. I couldn't help overhearing. I'm in the building trade myself. Oh, yeah. Yes, renovation of period houses, mainly. Uh, yeah. Roofs can be, well, a word I wouldn't care to mention in the presence of a lady. Oh. I'm after a tin of boiled sweets to keep in the car. We have just the thing. Yes. And, and what uh, brings you to this locality? I mean, there, there aren't many period buildings around here. On the contrary, there's lots of Edwardian terraced houses with the original roofs. And since oh. I'm doing up a listed Edwardian summer house in the country, Trouble is, the original slates are like gold dust. And what uh, do, do you do when you find them? We'll buy them off the owner if they're agreeable. The money they get buys them a new roof and a fair bit left over in the bank. <laughs> so if you know of anyone with the original slates to sell... Well, uh, I mean, now, now, now you mention it... Here you go. Cheers, Anna. You're welcome. Mind if I... Sorry about Jason. Well, that's not your fault. He's just got to understand what he's going through. I mean, come on, can you believe it? I mean, Jason. No, I don't suppose I could. Then why would David imply it was him? Just ask David. Why? What's he said? I mean, he can only guess it's to put the police off the scent. Why is he saying you think he did it? No, I'm not. I'm just wondering why he's trying to blame an innocent man. Sarah, what is it? Do you know what it is? Uh, Wednesday? It's June the 1st. It's the only day our son lived. He would have been 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Know. And all you can think about is seeking me out, trying to find out if my brother's a killer. Hey, whoa, go on, No, Sarah. just get out of my way! Yes, they're the original tiles, all right. Most of them, anyway. Pretty good nick, too. What do they like round the back? Oh, very much the same. Oh, yeah, well, I could give you a good price for them. Uh, yeah, but uh, <coughs> how, how do I know I can trust you? Oh, well, you don't. But if in doubt, stay out. That's my motto. I don't force anyone's hand. Oh, excuse me. Well, I've got to take this as an important client. Yes, hello? Yes. Oh, I thought it was at Bramwell Manor this week. Look, I, I can't talk now. I'll, I'll ring you back. Yes, OK. Bye. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, no one. Look, I understand your diffidence. I really do. But if you change your mind, there's my car. Oh, OK. Oh. Alistair Burton. <laughs> be a pleasure to do business with you, but only if you're happy. Oh, yeah, but how, how much are you uh, willing to pay? Well, give me a ring later, and we'll see if we can work something out. I've got a dash now. Bye. You're right, Sarah. The hungry. A bit peckish myself, actually. What time is it? Oh, no wonder. It's nearly lunchtime. Well, I feel a hot pot coming on. Sam, hold Harry for me for a minute, please. Sorry? Sarah, where are you going?
going on? Did you see someone? See who? The guy. What kind of guy? W walking down here? Oh, it was nothing. Someone you know? No. Okay. Now, I wasn't really looking, to be honest. Oh, I think it's just one of them things. Thank you, Billy. Yeah, let me help. No, no, honestly, Billy, it's fine. Thank you. Thanks very much. OK. So then, all right. Not really sure. I'll, uh, I'll see you anyway. Yeah. 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 But well, well I, I'll look at these uh, figures over and uh, give you a ring back, Alistair. That all right? Huh? Thank you. Bye. <laughs> well, he's certainly offering me enough money for my old slates. Bramwell Manor, you said he mentioned. Yeah. That's right. Owned by the Duke of Gloucester in Northamptonshire. Oh, say that. That must be one of his clients. Oh, unless he's just saying it to impress you. No, no, no. But he, he was muttering that low, I, I could barely hear him. But when he realised I had heard him, he closed the conversation down and vanished. I mean, he didn't hang around to brag or anything. Oh, Northamptonshire is quite a way away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but there is reclamation people to go all over the place. I saw a program about it. Well, you know what they say, if something's too good to be true, it usually is. <sighs> but, no, no, every website I've looked at bears out what he said. These Edwardian slates do cost a fortune. See, look, he buys my old slates, then his roofer puts new ones on, and I make a tiny profit, and my old slates end up on a royal Edwardian summer house. Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> How can I lose? Mm. Have a look at you. Are you alright? Oh, I am. Yeah, I'm just getting Ryan a congratulations card. They look really happy when I saw them this morning. Mm, yeah. Mm. Unlike your missus, talk about worse for wear. Mind you, it's not surprising. Skin full she put away last night. I'm surprised you didn't stop her. Well, she was only there for about an hour. Really? No, yeah, not even that. She said she was with you all evening. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, when I, when I think of it, it probably was more than an hour, yeah. Well, was it or not? Um, do you know, Chesney, I can't remember, cos I, I feel sort of a bit over myself, you know. It's a bit of a daze. Mm. Yeah, this one will do. P change. Norris, we hear you're thinking of hiring a roofer from outside the area. Oh, thank you, Mary. Sounds a bit dodgy to us, that. Uh, I mean, if, if, if the paragons of professional conduct around here are of that opinion, I'd better rethink. Just please be careful, Norris. There's a lot of scammers out there. What did he say? Takes one to know one. Yeah, well, it's just a friendly warning, that's um, all. Please, don't tell me if I use you instead of him, I get a better deal. Well, you get a real deal. Oh, say, you've changed your tune. Yeah, this is coming from the guy who called me a killer. Why do you want to help him? Well, look, if you'd only use us, fine. But please, get a second opinion. You know, for someone who's no good reason to like me, you're showing a suspicious level of concern. I will say no more. Yeah, come on. Good luck with it, Norris. Mm. Do you think I'd admit I was with her last night if anything was going on? Oh, so you'd have told me, would you? If I hadn't seen the two of you and asked? Yeah, exactly. Well, there's nowhere to sit. Unless we join Aidan and Eva. Um, oh, let's stand, shall we? Oh, I've been on my feet all day. Come on. Mind if we join you? Uh, sure. 
Do you not have an air of the dog, Sinead? I'm sorry? Oh, well, I heard you were three sheets to the wind last night. Eva, where'd you hear that? I mean, I heard Chess. Talk of the town, this one. We'll pop round, won't you, later, if you get lonely? I'll be fine. Roy! Uh, are you all right? Have you had an accident? No, 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 no. no. I, I, I decided Anna was right. I cannot be held ransom to the whims of my mother, especially when there's nothing wrong with her. You know that, dear. I rang Auntie Jean. Uh, apart from the usual headache, she's fine. But they did have a falling out about where to put the wheelie bin. See, I knew it'd be something like that. So until I'm needed for more urgent matters, I shall stay here. Well, well done. I'm proud of you. Right, I'll see you both later. Yes. Bye, yeah. love. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, uh, you must have got a fair way there. You left six hours ago. Well, I never actually set off. I decided to do a bit of shopping. Oh. And on a day for getting my priorities right, uh, I bought you this. Is that what I think it is? You can return it if it's not suitable. Though. Are you mad? Go on, then put it on me. <laughs> and they will adjust it if it doesn't fit. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh! It feels just fine. Well, I don't know what to say. Mm. Oh. Oh, you lovely man. Lovely mad. Right, well, I'll just go and unpack. Yeah. I, I could defrost that lasagna for later, if you fancy. Sounds perfect. It's OK if I sit here? Mm -hmm. Please. You ever seen any more of Sarah? Yeah, not since lunchtime. So I think she's been acting weird recently. Mm. She's been through it. Yeah. Has she, has she said anything about Jason? Couldn't tell you even if she had confidentiality and all that. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. Does that mean you can't tell the police either? Mm, well, that's where it gets a bit tricky. I'd have to speak to my bishop. Right. You know, I was just watching him walk around like a condemned man. I mean, can you imagine if he was convicted by a false accusation? Oh, no, I'm, I'm not holding back sensitive information. I can assure you. Yeah, no, no. I mean, what do you think happened? Seriously, I mean, you must have thought about it. What do you mean, who killed Callum? Well, I don't know. No idea. That's for him and Sarah. I mean, it's only a theory. Yeah, I mean, you know, none of us knows the truth. I think she was frightened of him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Then I mean, you know, you, you've got to ask yourself why. Was there some kind of cruelty going on? Was it mental, physical? Physical? I'm not saying it was, but you know, it happens and loads of women don't speak up about it. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe something like that was going on and, and you know, David walked in and found him. What, and? Stopped him. Mm, no, that's a lot of speculation now, Todd. I mean, maybe he was doing more than knocking her about. Maybe, maybe it was sex as well as violence. No, uh, no, you need to stop right there. No, no you've got to think about it. It makes sense, though, doesn't it? Mm -mm, no, this is you talking now, not me. Count me out. How's the kebab business, Chess? Yeah, I took it over. No room for complacency, though. Yeah, well, you've got to watch your back these days. I'll tell him what's going on behind it. Am I missing something here? Why you ask your girlfriend? Ask me what? You know, like where she was last night. Right, let's make a move, shall we? Are you not with his? Then where? In Underworld, trying to get into his trousers. What? Right, come on. That did not happen. Yeah, only because you fought her off. I said, come on. It, it was nothing, OK, Chess? It wasn't like what she said. But you went to see him? I knew you were lying, but I didn't think it was this bad. Chesney! Don't worry, I've just come to apologise. <sighs> OK, 
I'm really sorry. I just... I've just been so worried about Jason, you know. It's all I can seem to think about. Well, it's, um, it's for the police to work out who did it, not us. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I mean, when was the last time you saw Callum? You'd broken up, hadn't you? I mean, just anything you can remember that might help Jason, you know, anything Callum said or did, you know. Do you believe in ghosts? What's that got to do with it? Because some people say there's this, like, spirit world that we just, we don't see. What are you on about? Because I didn't believe it, but... What if some people do see the dead? Are you saying you've seen a ghost? Who was it? Was it Callum? Sarah? No! Was it... Callum! Callum, that is all anybody ever talks about. Callum, when is he going to leave us alone? Oh, right, right, just calm down, you, OK? You, you, you trick your way in here with your conspiracy theories and I'll just get... No, no, I'm not... Just, just really... go, just go! Next tonight, the curtain rises to another evening of music, comedy and entertainment in tonight at the London Palladium. While over on ITV B next, feeling hungry, looking for love, brand new series of Dinner Date continues. (laughs) 